Well, this is Matt from Tracy and Matt.co.uk, and here I am looking at a couple of products from Snevo. Um, we've got the Bluetooth stereo headset first, and then the Easy Speaker as well. Just pop that to one side. Let's take a, take a look at these uh, Bluetooth headphones. And obviously, there are plenty of these products on the market, but this is a quite a nice product. In fact, it comes in this carrying case with a um, buckle on it that you can obviously clip onto things and keeps them all neat and tidy especially for traveling and there we go so we have them folded away inside uh, available in black as well as white these but we just open up like so and there you go there's your Bluetooth headset or headphones in fact it's both because uh, you can use it as a headset as well as headphones it has a built-in microphone so you can use it for calls as well as for audio let's pop that to one side for one second we then have inside we have a three and a half mil jack cable so you can use a cable with these if you've got a, a device that doesn't have bluetooth yeah you can actually use the cable that comes with it and then we have the charger there because they are obviously wireless so they do need battery charging so a usb to micro usb sync charge cable now one thing to point uh, to sort of mention these are these do, do uh, have noise isolation, noise cancelling, uh, advanced built in as well, and they're Bluetooth 3.0. One thing I would just uh, mention is probably worthwhile keeping the cable because if you are um, travelling on an aircraft, most uh, aircraft operators will not allow you to use Bluetooth um, whilst in the cabin, so you would have to disable Bluetooth and go to wired um, versus actually using um, them with Bluetooth. But that's uh, just, just one of those things as, a, as an aside. We've got the user manual here as well, which tells us all about it. But nothing particularly spectacular. So, uh, in terms of controls, uh, we have well, we have the three and a half mil jack on the bottom, so you can, as I say, use a cable versus uh, using Bluetooth 3.0 microphone there as well. You have buttons on the side here. Uh, this side is for play and pause and for answering your call, and then an up and down control there. Uh, on, I think actually it's just on the one side, yeah. Up and down control on this side, which is for skipping between tracks, back and forward between tracks when you're actually on audio playback. And on the other side, we have an up and down volume control, so you can actually obviously control the volume with uh, your iPhone or uh, uh, any other Bluetooth enabled MP3 or uh, phone or player. And then we also have the micro USB connector for charging them up and really nothing to see on the other side and then they do just pop into that folded position pop back in the case and seal it all up so that's the Cinevo headphones that's the SBH150 the other product this is a a bit different this is kind of a intriguing product I haven't looked at this uh, as yet I've seen the uh, video that the company have on their website Essentially, these are. Uh, this is an external speaker, which I am struggling to get into. So this is an external speaker, and as the front, it says on the front, no wires, no Bluetooth, and no Wi-Fi. It uses near-field audio, so I'm intrigued as to how that really works in practical terms. Let's just undo all of those. So inside the box, we have the usage guide. So we're going to pop that to one side. We then have a cable, which is a USB to mini USB uh, charging cable. Let's see if you can actually charge the internal battery. And then the speaker itself, which is um, kind of okay. It's um, it's not the most beautiful speaker I've ever seen, but it, uh, it looks okay. It's reasonably lightweight, around about 200 grams. Not the largest of speakers either that we've seen. As an controls on the back, we have an on-off uh, switch, we have the charger, and then we have an auxiliary input. So a 3.5mm jack. Uh, doesn't look like we do have, here we go. So we have a 3.5mm uh, sort of headphone cable that you can use there. So the idea is, let's turn it on. The idea is, then we've got power there, is that we just pop that down. Uh, that we can put any phone or mp3 player that has built-in speakers on top and using their near-field audio technology 
um, it's going to amplify the sound from my phone. Uh, if I don't have a device, MP3 player, phone or whatever it is, with a loudspeaker, then I can use the cable and plug it in. So let's just see if that actually works. So that's audio playback with just the iPhone. So let me just be clear that... Well, that's picking up the transmitter. So, it's not a microphone. It's not picking up using a microphone. I suspect that there's probably just a couple of sensors in there. Effectively, the coupling uh, without the um, uh, the other part of the of a microphone, essentially the magnetics uh, without the diaphragms. But what it isn't doing it isn't uh, amplifying the um, audio as such. So it's not an echo chamber is what I'm trying to say. It is actually active. So that works reasonably well actually. So that's quite impressive. Now let's just try it with a cable. Uh, just to see that in operation as well. The beauty of this, as they say, is that it will work with any device that has um, loudspeakers. Well, what you're not going to be able to really pick up quite so well on the video recording because obviously we have just the, uh, you know one microphone in the actual uh, camera here is that it actually isn't a bad audio range so if we actually go back to just using the the phone so that's just the iPhone there's definitely a sweet spot there as well I'm just going to volume down a little bit there's definitely a sweet spot, and as we move the move the speakers from the iPhone just over these points here, there's definitely a sweet spot. You just sit it on top, which does mean that you still have access to your controls actually on your device uh, to actually do the audio playback. So that's not a bad, I mean, that's a really nice idea, neat solution to um, having multiple connectors uh, versus Bluetooth versus having Wi-Fi or NFC or various other methodologies of connecting up a set of speakers um, to a portable um, you know, media player, Wi-Fi, uh, MP3 player, uh, iPhone or whatever have you. So that's a, it's a, a novel solution, one that I haven't seen before. Uh, the audio is actually quite good. I say it only weighs about 200 grams. So if you're traveling, going on holiday, you know, down to the beach, whatever else, um, there isn't really much else more than that to take with you. You take that, you take your phone, um, maybe you take your, 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 your cable with you as what, uh, whatever as well, um, and you just charge it up and off you go. Uh, allegedly, that the uh, charge, the power time or continuous working time is at least five hours with, on one charge, uh, which again is, is also quite impressive. And what we do have with, when we have it on charge is a little LED on the front, the blue LED, when it's in use is blue, when it's charging is red, and when charging is complete, the red light turns off. So there we go, that's a couple of products that we've got from, there we go, Sunevo. Two products, the Bluetooth headphones and the um, easy speakers, the SPS120. Uh, we'll have some more on these two products um, over the next sort of couple of weeks. Going to sort of have a play around with them. Not much more to see with regards to the uh, easy speakers, but obviously a bit more to have a play around with uh, when it comes to the Bluetooth headphones. But we're going to have a little bit of a review on those uh, over the next couple of weeks. In the meantime, if you want to follow us on Twitter, it's twitter.com slash Tracy and Matt or facebook.com slash tracyandmatt.co.uk. And I'll be back soon with some more videos and reviews on tracyandmatt.co.uk. But for now, thanks for watching.